Hot. Big tip coming up right here. Yeah? Let's talk about it. Ooh. Great question from Angle. What makes the Colts gun bunch tight end so tough? Great question. Let's talk about it. Let's break it down. So we're in the Colts playbook. Remember, this is a playbook we were in in the start of the year. Colts gun bunch tight ends, the formation we ran in what, Madden 25? Madden 15? Uh, Madden 09, I ran it exclusively. Uh, that was kind of my first time running it. You guys are an um, item. We were, we, ugh. Oh, this one play where it was, in, it was inside cross, it was my baby. Oh, it was so good. You put that motion slack eye, put him on a slant, motion him out left. Awesome. But anyways, uh, what make I think what makes this play so effective or this formation so effective is you have good quick audibles. You have a lot of times you only get one passing play that you can really use to have good quick audibles. In this play, you have your play action audible. Uh, great PA crossers. Tough play, just good routes. Then you have tight end corners. There's very few plays in the game that give you this many like corners and posts. Yeah, that's what makes it very difficult. Um, and then you can come out in whatever play you'd like. And also, by the way, you have a table route. Very nice. Tight end corner. Very nice. A, uh, a corner that you can motion to the right side of the field to beat me. Like, there's a lot of things that go with it. But let's start with uh, what I think is, is kind of what makes the whole thing tick. Uh, it's a quick audible to the right. It's called tight end corner. So if you play man to man, um, go ahead, play man. This is one of the best plays in the game for beating man. You can call press. Um, and what you like to do, what we saw a lot of people do, and this is actually the same setup that I actually ran last year from the gun bunch tight end formation from the Colts. You place the far left receiver on a slant, and you can motion him out. Snap of the ball. You want to kind of look for this B receiver. That's, that's the guy. That's the guy that you want to stress the defense to defend because that's what then will open up everything else. So when you go back to instant replay, snap of the ball here and you're going to notice that that's really difficult for defenses to press that uh is his route so he'll break over the middle of the field and he gets a great spot right there wide open that's a, a huge conversion that's about 10 yards then if you take a look at the other route over here greg olson not going to be pressed and he gets a free release on the right side of the tight end corner right now your third route ted ginn you motion on a slant and he's going to cut and he's going to get open so now what ends up happening is you're forcing your opponent to drop zones to try and take something away. Then they're forced to probably user this, this post over the middle of the field. Then you have the underneath slant to open up. And then depending on your route running of uh, this receiver here, 82, he's going to get pressed and it's going to be really delayed to get open. But if he's got great route running and speed and against a weaker guy, he will get open. Uh, that's kind of step one of what makes this formation so good. Other motions that you can do from here, we're not going to go through all of the plays, but you could kind of run an inverse of it where you motion get over and now you run them to this side and then you just kind of do the same thing but you're changing where the slant's going and you're really stressing the defense so i think you have a lot of success with this one play when for you motion man. and then this is a great play and then you mentioned earlier with the other quick audible where you can motion get over on mm -hmm. the quick uh route the tight end corner play like you could motion him over there you can motion him over here like there's a lot you can do uh, from this formation. Overall, I think going back, reviewing the tape of some of the top Madden Challenge players, uh, Madden Championship players, seeing what they did. I know Spot Me Please impressed a lot of people with his offense. Yep. Um, this was a popular setup right here. Yeah, mixing some of what they go with. Um, kind of adapted on your own, but overall, yeah, I mean, it's really nice to have the tight end on the line of scrimmage too, because yep. you get excellent pass protection with yep. um, with the tight end on I'll, the line, potentially, if you need it. And I'll tell you what, if, after watching the Madden Championship, I kind of like running these delayed routes more than I thought I did this year. They, they got, really got open, but this was a popular setup, was the PA boot over. Um, more so probably against zone, but it's but you you slant the far left receiver, uh, they block the halfback, you have the release to the tight end, and then they motion up the slant. Now you're gonna have two quick crossers that are really difficult to defend. And I think the key there was look at the release, block and release by Greg Olson. Um, we'll go into instant replay, you'll see. Because what ends up happening is the defender has to read Olsen. Is he gonna stay in the block? And then he'll he'll blitz. So look at the defender right here. That's the guy that's supposed to be man up on Olsen. He reads him, he thinks he's blocking. And that doesn't always happen, but when it does happen, he's wide open now. So right. now Olsen would be wide open there. That's a great flood of routes to open up for you, and they're all short underneath options to attack for like third and three, third and four. Um, and one other quick tactic we saw a lot of people do uh, from this, this playbook um, was this formation here. So you could go, let's just stick in this play, but you saw this a ton where you'd put uh, Benjamin on a quick hitch, 
you put 10 gin on a curl and then they'd motion the slot guy over here. Uh, this was a big conversion for a lot of people and they'd slant got cartridge. So now on the right side you have that ever popular like sail. half that wheel, yeah. sail, yeah. really difficult to defend. But on the other side of the field, uh, you could just go ahead and dot people up right here with the, the quick little LB pass and up and didn't work out for me there. But um, Never works out when Ted Ginn's on the receiver. It, it, Ted Ginn's not the guy, but let's right here. That you, you're you're throwing to Ted Ginn, and then it, and then Kelvin Benjamin with his right. height triggers it. So great little dot play right there. But there's a there's a lot you can do with this. And again, this table route really difficult to defend out of the backfield. You got corners, a lot of different things going on. Um, doesn't even include the shot plays. From doesn't the include anything. Cross. You right. can go downfield with. There's there's so much you can do from this one formation. Plus the Colts has the wide trips week that we've used. It's got the gun split close. It's got shot you know, play right here. Multiple multiple. Uh, setups and ways that you can get downfield and feel pretty confident. Yeah, so. that would be the shot play right yeah. there, one-on-one. -on -one. With a little I more mean, room. ton of things going on. I think it's probably one of the deepest passing formations in the game. Uh, so give it a look. That's the Colts playbook, the gun bunch, tight end. Saw a lot of it. Uh, it's been hidden in there for a while, and it's something you should definitely take a look for. All right, here we go. Let's keep going through the mailbag. We've got good questions from the community tonight. Gibbs on the mudhead.com. Mm -hmm. Best wide receiver for 120K. He's looking for wide receiver number one. He only recently started mud. Uh, do we have oh, he's, a guy? He, there's going to be so him? many players available. It's going to be a lot of items in his toolkit. Uh, let's see what he uh, can go with here. So we're going to head on over to mudhead real quick. We're going to sort by prices and get you guys set up. Uh, in the meantime, while Gibbs is looking for that receiver, just let you guys know if you tuned in late, if you're subscribed to the channel, you can hit the Brain Trust. We've got some tips for Ooh. Madden 17, a little training idea um, of how you can get better, things you can start doing now when you're playing 16 so that you're better day one when Madden 17 rolls around. So subscribe to the channel, and uh, if you're over on YouTube, make sure to give us a follow as well. Uh, I think it's, I think it's, I mean, I think there's two guys you could probably go after. Yeah. I think there's a Demarius Thomas final edition. Very nice item. Nine, 94 speed, 99 spec, 95 catch in traffic, 96 route running. Uh, love the Vincent Jackson, ulti uh, ultimate yeah. legend. 97 V Jacks, yeah. ultimate legend. He's a 111. Pretty legit. Yep. Um, there's other slot guys I think you could go for, yeah. but for a premier guy, you got to go big dog downfield. That's Vincent Jackson. What about the Jordy? Mm. Jordy. He's on. The I, I don't house. think he gets. I don't think he gets bodied. As, you know, he's yeah. six three. So v Jax or Demarius? I've seen Demarius one-on-one. -on -one that Demarius time, is tough. So, yeah. That Demarius is real yeah. tough. And he's 75, so you could even save a little. Yeah. So, the Fitzgerald, that's nice. Idea. The Fitzgerald, pretty good. Not, not that Team big, of the week fits. Maybe BCA fits job. in there. All right, yeah. so some good options there. Uh, team of the year, Brandon Marshall. Brandon Marshall, be. if you want a good outside uh, blocker, too. Mm -hmm. um, he's, he's good as well if you don't need quite as much route running. But overall, some good options. You're in a good position for your ultimate team. All right, uh, this one is from EBESC. How to not get discouraged from competitive Madden. So he saw that some of the top players had the golden tickets mm -hmm. in key positions in their lineup. How can you 